Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchas and welcome to my tutorial slash playthrough for the for a god and man I'm pumped today and the fact today is the same day as the last time I recorded and the time before that and the time No, not before that, but either way I recorded a lot of videos today However, the previous ones were in the morning. This one is in the evening and there are two reasons in particular why I am right now so pumped, whereas when I finished recording the last part, I secretly thought to myself, man, I'm gonna lose this, aren't I? Because I looked at the map and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to win before the Necrophagers win, because right now, they are really on a good path to victory, they're gonna rush for it really quickly, that's what Necrophagers AI does, after all. So I thought to myself, well, at the very least, maybe I'll be able to make a good last stand, fight them to the very end, maybe showcase my final battle, no, 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 I'm winning, I am winning, I'm crushing the bastards. I am so ready to do this, I have a plan, in fact, on how to do this as well, those are not just empty words. Now, it might not succeed, I mean, there is a reason why I thought that I might not be able to beat the Necrophages, mind you, and that reason is not just me being overly paranoid, but I do have that plan, and oh yes, at the very least it will be devious enough to satisfy my hunger for, I don't know what, honestly, evilness? Either way, let's go ahead and start moving my army towards the enemy capital. I'm gonna take it without them even being able to do anything about it. That's because that's me. And my spies already planted secretly gaining intel, preparing to open the doors for me. Because there is, right here, the fortification reduction. Which I'm definitely gonna use. So, yeah. I do have to wait a hour for a while, but then again, there is a lot of forest on my way here, so... That's okay, I have to wait anyway. Meanwhile, the enemy is banning my countryside, but I also did something else off camera. And I also prepared to do something on the camera. So let's deal with the ladder first. And let's instantly buy on the Archimist Furnace. Because I actually realized I do have enough dust for it. So I decided to go for it first and leave management sciences for later. Especially since I decided to actually use up the titanium I had to design a devil. Devil is my newest entry for the modern combat, you see. This is the kind of guy who, since I have, I'm going to have an equal amount of both Glastion and Titanium flowing into my back, I decided to actually do something with this and create an elite type of creature that I'll only rarely include with my army, but the type of creature who can easily compete against any threat the endless AI can throw at me. This guy in particular he, I mean, he doesn't care if I'm fighting against Wild Walkers or if I'm fighting against the Mazari or whatever. He's gonna be good against all of them and he ain't gonna go down very easily either with 150 HP. For a guy, guy like him who doesn't usually have a lot of HP, that's pretty decent. And the Acrobat ability, oh, he's gonna wreak havoc for the ranged units and with the addition of Glory of Death. I expect him to be in the middle of everywhere and probably die, I'm not gonna lie. He's a devil after all, they must run or they will die, if you know that reference. <clears throat> but, either way, I will use him. In fact, I already queued up one of them, and you think, and I'm going to make some more. So, let we, oh, 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 I didn't rename that city, did I? I need to do it. One second. Okay, I'll be honest, I didn't think for very long how to name this city. I just thought to myself, yeah, you're a bad girl. Because, yes, that's another track, and in this case, again, I'm not exactly referencing the song itself, but I thought to myself, well, the seller that settled the city, he went all the way there, and then it was like, yep, no, I gotta go over here. It's it's a total player, that settler, in my opinion, and it was so hard to get him, but I managed to get him in the end at Settler City, so, yeah, that's a bad girl and a half right there. Bad girl next to the boy, so, oh boy, it's gonna get kinky in there. Um, anyway, don't you think? <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and continue playing now that I have also queued up the titanium extractor, so I'll get titanium, and speaking of which, I also want to get some glass steel, so both of which I'll gain in the next two turns, unless winter hits, which should be pretty good, because I'll be able to stream out some more units with strategic resources that will hopefully be capable of taking on any kind of AI shenanigans. And in the meantime, this northern army is trying to hit home without being caught by a billion of beasties. I mean, that said, the Dryders have also been nerfed. I don't ex actually remember exactly how, I just remember them being nerfed when I read the patch notes. 
I don't remember what happened to them. I think the damage was lowered, wasn't it? Maybe attack. I'm not sure. One of the two was actually lowered, so... You know, because, let's be honest, before the Dryers were kind of BS. You sure they stun and even that they heal, but since the initiative is so crappy, it never really matters anyway. And the heal was pretty effing beastly, so now they are less of an awesome unit like they were before. Because they were a really powerful unit, let's face it. So, yeah. Okay, then, I think I'm ready. I'm a little bit worried by the Apu Arpujas, so I'll probably need to do something about them. But then again, I do have some mists and a predator, so soon to be two predators that I can send there. And you know what? I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna send them right away because, quite frankly, I don't trust them not to besiege my city. And then besieging my city will just cost me too much. What's that? Reliable ally? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna ban you, buddy. There's no reason not to do it. So I'll do it. Losing dust is not exactly ideal, I'm afraid. And I'm, it looks like I'm about to lose even more, so. So maybe I'll actually do your quest just to not, not to go bankrupt. That's a little bit embarrassing. Although I'm about to finish Bar Streets, which will give me a decent amount of dust. I will see. I'll go with minus six deficit for now. And I'll go ahead and end my turn. See what the Wild Walkers are going to do. Now, as this video is finishing, I'll explain what both, or at least one of the reasons why I'm so pumped today. Number one, my youth thinks that it has arrived. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's been so long since I received a packet from Korea, as in a musical package, rather than anything else. And, I don't know, just getting something from post office, it, it feels nice, I really like it. Especially when it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time. Also, how on earth do I get here, to this city? Wow, that's gonna take a while. Oh well, I'll just put it to something else. So anyway, the city has arrived, I chased everybody out of my house, and I played it on a really good sound system we have here. It's a shame that when I move out, I will not be able to take the sound system, but... Well, I can enjoy it at the very least while I still have access to it, right? So, anyway, that was pretty awesome. I was happy, and obviously this carries over to my video right here. So that's one reason why I'm happy, and the second reason why I'm pop... I actually forgot it. No, I'm serious. And why did you just... You just offered me vision, now it's an embargo? That's weird, I'm not sure what was going through your head right there. Oh, uh, you're about to be destroyed, so you're trying to be less nice to people while you're dying. Okay, I can dig it. You don't want me to see your shameful last moments. I I understand, don't worry. It's it, it it's really not very nice when you're being killed by a bunch of bags. I don't worry. We've all been there, I'm sure, maybe. Actually, probably not. <laughs> I'm really not helping those guys, am I? Exotic alloys. That's absolutely amazing. I want this. No, seriously, I do. Colonize the region Leran. So this one. Um, yeah, that's a bit cold. Although what I can do is colonize it real quick and then burn down my city. I'll do just that, in fact. But I need to hurry. And is this all the same region? Yes, it is. That's a ginormous, effing massive region. Holy balls are big. Okay, let's... Uh, but then again, I don't have time for a cellar. Oh well, the boys... No, not the boys. The boys cannot make... Why are you so low on your content? What did I do to you? Uh, I mean, I did create another borough streets and that's probably what happened. Yeah, that, in fact, that's definitely what happened. Oh well, I'll create another one soon and this will help me alleviate the problem somewhat. Okay, I think that bad girl is gonna be the one who will make me a seller. Nice and easy. And I'll probably actually recoup the seller as well so that he's a little bit fast because right now he's got plus one move. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's video I made a horrible mistake, didn't I? I said that the improvement movement one no longer gives you battle movement. Well, that used to be the case. I guess they changed it. I actually must have missed that on the patch notes. My sincere apologies. I probably made some kind of annotation under last during the last video since I now realize my mistake. Boy, yeah. Strange. Okay, well, I understand. It's really strange. They were going through some changes uh, in, in regards to the Iron Talisman during the beta. It, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about the details of how the different stages it went through, but people who played the beta can also say, prove that, I'm, that my ideas didn't come from nowhere. It was changed quite significantly, but I, now I see that level 1 Iron Talisman is exactly as it used to be. Okay, well... I actually didn't realize it. Strange. I swear I saw in the patch notes that they actually did change it in the end. Did they reverse that change? I'm not sure. 
Oh well, my mistake then. Either way, what I did want to do is to actually upgrade that to level 2 so that I'll move faster outside of battle and I'll be able to settle my new city faster. Since, you know, that settler is still gonna take a while to, you know, be created anyway. So I want, at the very least, for him to move fast and to get here. And then I want him to bend down the city that he will make as quickly as possible. I think it's understandable, right? To create a city just to bend it down. Everybody does that from time to time, I'm sure. Okay, is there a time limit actually to me doing that? Let's quickly check because maybe there's no need for me to do that. No, there is not. Good. It's not all, and all is easy to fulfill. Why is there no music? I have no clue. As for you, you were supposed to kill some Apujas, weren't you? All the street of this village. But now I'm thinking that I might actually fulfill this quest since I am having some difficulties with dust. And I'm still quite a bit away, quite far away from getting the tech to help him with dust. So. I'll probably fulfill the quest in a few moments. For now though, bad girl is busy, but the boys are less busy. Can I just move? Yes, I can move all of those three guys into dust production, which is nice. It will keep me in the positive for now until winter hits, and then I'll move even more people, I assume. But for now, I'm trying to get as much food in as possible so that, you know, the city can grow. And I will use up my glass silk as well, because, you know, the city did have some happiness problems and I want to make sure that this is not the case and this one is actually happy for it wow I'm so happy for you being happy bad girl please don't betray me like you're planning to I know you're planning to do it you will do it won't you okay is the enemy performing a roundup and um, no that's good my spy is safely sitting in there I normally would probably try to perform some sort of action as quickly as possible to get seniority bonus but seeing how I'm probably going to take still quite a few tests to get to the city. I'll just sit here, wait till level 4, and then instantly perform the fortification action. It's not the most efficient way to do things, but I don't want the enemy to start, you know, being overly cautious and performing roundups, because then my hero might be caught and disabled, and I don't want this to happen. Ideally, I want to perform... I either want to perform the level 4 fortification bonus, and wait for a turn and assign my hero to the army that's besieging it, or just attack it, the city outright with an army that I have here. I think it might be able... I mean, right now, it sh if the city has no fortification, this army can easily take it. But I don't know, maybe the AI will actually make some units in the meantime. So we'll see. Let's end the turn, let me drink a little. <sighs> Alright, my spy has gained some infiltration level, and what is that? That's the seller. Oh, he's gonna go away. That's okay. I do hope that he's not gonna find my army though. Nope, he's going the other way around. I hope he's not going the only way around that's suitable. Please tell me that there's a passage through here to there, because otherwise I'll probably cry. Anyway, let's go ahead and pillage this place, since I might as well. Can I pillage it in a single... wait. Mm... No, I cannot pillage it in a single turn. That's effing annoying. Now that I don't have a hero, I cannot do this anymore. This instant pillage. Uh, oh well. I'll start the pillage and I'll keep moving. Um, I won't bother to stop the pillage because why would I? I kind of feel like being evil. Pillage for the sake of pillaging, that's morally right, right? Question mark? Anyway, let's have a quick look see uh, the uh, other major city. They are expanding. It might be actually a little bit hard to move by them. I might have to change my pathing, but that's not a very big problem. And the boys, yeah, you are about to be besieged, aren't you? Let's quickly fix that problem, shall we? And the enemy Apujas will reinforce, but those are just Apujas and I have missed. So, I think you want to see how mists are per per performing in a battle, so I will show you. Why not? No problems. Okay, so I have high initiative. That's actually pretty good. The enemy is not completely clustered to together, which is a shame. But it's not a very big deal either, so let's have you guys stay over there. Now, keep in mind, mists are also flying, so they can go through any type of terrain. No problems and no questions asked, which is nice. As for the Predator, you safely stand behind them. Sorry, I said safely stand behind them, thank you very much. And attack when you can. Unfortunately, his attack will be a little bit wasted, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Mists, obviously, go in and wreak havoc. Militia just occupy the other Apujas that are coming through. And as for the Predator, I'm pretty sure this guy will be dead by the time we're done. But in case he's not, let's just make absolutely sure that he is dead. And the other Apujas, well, they will be annoying, I have to admit, but hopefully not very annoying. So, 
Here we go. Now, as you can see, the amount of damage I deal to all the other units with the chain landing or faster than shadows is entirely full, so nothing is reduced. And this guy didn't die. And this is not a good situation. I mean, because ouch, yeah, that that actually had. I should have been more careful. But then again, those mists, those are mists, and I'm fighting against the Pujas. I'm not terribly concerned. And now, yeah, you guys are not. I'm gonna wish you didn't wear the bone this way, <laughs> with wings and stuff and death. Mostly death. So this this guy acts fast. I want to clear this path so that this guy can attack this guy from the high ground and also chain to the other guy. Nice and easy. I will lose the predators. I'm pretty sure by now. Oh, also sacrifices are necessary, I suppose. I let's mark this guy or let's finish this guy. I think I want to finish this guy first. So let's go into a forest and finish him. He's got a predator mark. No, he doesn't. So he might not actually die. As for the militia. You just try to do your best to actually do something in a battle, which I know is hard, but... Wait, what? You... I told you to attack! Ah, right, their initiative got changed because they had equal initiative, so it got randomized, and this guy did absolutely nothing this turn. I hate when it happens because that's really not how things are supposed to be done. When I see something on this bar, I assume this is the final thing, but it actually isn't. Because if two things have... Uh, units have the same initiative. You don't know which one is actually gonna go first, regardless of what this bot told you. That's BS, I have to be honest with you. But I never said that this game is flawless and doesn't have any problems. It does have problems. So let's just tell both of those guys to attack this Apuja. And yeah, that's the best thing I can do because I cannot... I suppose if I go to this tower, no matter what, I'll have a target. So you go to this tower. As for you... I could give it in the same order, but then he would behave really weirdly. If he couldn't come fulfill, oh well, whatever. Try to do your best. So let's see which one is first. This time it's the right unit that goes first. Go figure. Oh well, one I put you dead. What about the other miss? What? <sighs> I should have just told him both misses to attack in whatever way. Actually, I should have told the other miss to attack in whatever way he wanted. Oh well, the Apujas are still clustering up together to be a perfect target for my miss. And this time around. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make effing sure that both can attack. <laughs> okay, and now they will be able to attack, no matter what, no questions asked. I hope. Let me drink a little bit more. <sighs> now, let's keep watching. I don't really have anything else to add now to this commentary, because um, we're just witnessing the death of Apujas, which... They had it coming, let's face it. Nobody feels sorry for them, nobody cares about them either, and everybody wants to see them dead, and especially now that they got a critical hit on my mist. I should not have lost as many units as I did, but keep in mind, it's mostly because, you know, I did have my mist did not acting at all twice, so, yeah. Okay, you just uh, murdered this guy, and this you just run away, because I don't obviously want to lose a mist for no reason. There we go, Apuja's gone, nice and easy, I don't have to worry about the city now. I lost the Predator, oh well, I don't have to pay for him. Again, that's my excuse for losing units, which is actually a right excuse, it's just a little bit cruel and not necessarily the right way to play this game. But, you know, it's true, I don't have to pay for them, which is good. Okay, let's finish the turn, and uh, let's walk to this tower, shall we? And I suppose I can't actually pillage because, yeah. Not a big problem. Let's see what else can I do. Why are you following me? I don't trust you. I don't like you. Go away. And oh boy, I will actually stop next to the city no matter what, will I? Okay, let's go the other way around. I don't want automators to find the out about me, obviously, since or I already have two fairly powerful empires knowing about me, automators, even though they are pathetic right now. Oh, where are the drag the dragon are dead, aren't they? Yeah, speaking of the pathetic and majors that just killed a dragon city, I don't want to fight them right now. I already have enough on my plate as it is. I'm getting ready to fight possibly a two-sided war because I half expect Misery to strike me down at any moment. So yeah, I need to be at least a little bit careful. Okay, those are will be four units, and I have two heading back home. So I'll actually have a full army ready. That's pretty nice, and I can continue making Boros streets, which I. Uh, I will do for now. It will lower my city's approval, unfortunately, which is not exactly ideal. But it will give me access to an extra river tile. Although, if if I put this Boros Street on over here, I can access to two extra river tiles, which is a lot better. 
Let's do that. I'm a little bit concerned about my co approval, but it's still at 60% content, so I guess I shouldn't be this concerned. And I won't. So, yeah. And also, let's move some people to death production. This winter is going to be another short one, man. Actually, no, I need you on industry. I need to gain some dust from somewhere because minus 30, uh, I need to be in the positive, it looks like, because things are looking a little bit bad. In two turns, I'll go for an empire plan that will help me with my dust shortage, but still, not exactly ideal, is it? Okay, I need to put somebody on food production, otherwise, bad girl is gonna have some serious starvation problems. As for the settler being delayed, I will live with that. What about you, the boys? Um, I do want you to grow population, but I cannot be in the negative, so... Okay, let's do it like this. I'm slightly in the negatives, but I suppose it will be alright for now. And I don't want to make too many units too quickly in the city, either. So I suppose for now I'll start the production of... Uh, I think I'll start the production of a mist. I might actually need the casting for something else. So let's queue up an assassin instead. Assassin, a regular assassin may always be useful, you know, a champion like this, why not? And as for you, this says, you have no more orders. Right, okay then, let's go ahead and finish this, take a bit, drink a little bit more. And yep, that's exactly what I expected, the dragon are dead, and that's not very good. From dust to rust. That's actually really, really bad. First of all, I... Yeah, I don't have Palladium, so I can't help with that. Secondly, I wanted Oxidization, that's pretty bad. Doesn't that reduce, increase the cost of my Cedric resources, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the one. I don't know why, but there is no, I don't see the effect being displayed anywhere, right? Unless I'm being, no, I'm not blind. Hmm, it should be displayed somewhere from Dust Rust. Yeah, it is plus 50% on item strategic resource cost. I don't know why there is no pop-up saying that, but... Huh, whatever. Anyway, right now it's gonna be a little bit annoying to construct anything that costs strategic resources, but I queued up things already, and amusingly enough, I don't think that I don't think that things you already queued up are actually counted, unless I don't have anything queued up. No, I do not. Okay, never mind. I guess the game isn't that dumb. Okay, then. Yep, I know about this. I know about... Wait, I just dismissed an Empire message, didn't I? Yep, I should be more careful. Oh well, it happens. I am not really all that concerned. And you guys, you're making the car ranges. I'm not too keen on that, but there isn't much I can do about it. How are you doing, my spy? Next growth level of infiltration 110. This will give me minus 50% to fortification. The question is, how long will it take me to reach level 4? Because I want to go minus 100%, obviously. So that I can really instantly take over the city, instead of waiting for a little bit for the enemy to suddenly show up with a ginormous army. I cannot allow the enemy to react to my action in any way, shape or form. Also, seriously, this guy's stalking me! Go away! I don't like you! I didn't want your number! Stop standing outside of my apartment looking at me cripply! Jeez, girl! I know you're cute and kind of adorable and stuff, and I kind of actually do want to hang out with you, but something's so creepy, alright? I actually have no idea what this... Oh, I know what, what reference this is to. Have you guys played a game called Catherine by any chance? Yeah, that I'm probably referencing that by accident. Actually, not by accident. I'm doing this completely and absolutely consciously. So, yeah. Uh, that's probably it. Alright, let's gain a little bit more dust. And a bit more dust still. Not that much, though. Alright, this much. And I'm still in the positives, which is nice despite the winter. Obviously, the Pokolot hero is what's helping me a, a lot. And once I get my extra hero from the faction quest, I'll probably want to hire yet another spy or another Brocolos hero, one of the two. Because I do need more uh, heroes. Okay, that's a bug. I was supposed to infiltrate another city, but apparently it didn't matter which city I infiltrated to level 3, so I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> okay, that's a bug. I should not have been given this quest, uh, this quest reward for infiltration because I didn't infiltrate the right city. Oh well, I'll take what I can get. The world generation really effed me over in this uh, at the beginning, so I'll be like, you know what? I deserve it? Question mark. Anyway, next quest is you know where the ruins are. You have to go ahead and go for to those ruins. I will because as I can see, the reward oh, go away. The reward for that is finally this Gemiada. It's Gemiada. 
Oziema Ada, as it's supposed to be pronounced, I assume. But I always call her Jemia because, yeah. She has, as you can see, a fast line now, but it is something that usually only drag the drag can have, but she has it. And let me tell you, she gets pretty effort beef later on, because, okay, spoilers for this quest line. Later on, once she gets a little bit of revenge on the people that tortured her and broke her, she is gonna get really beefy. Suddenly her stats will go up like crazy and she'll get two really nasty swords. The... I don't remember how they're called. One is like... Waxing Moon from one side and one is Waxing Moon for the other side. They have some really cool names, I don't remember. Anyway, they give amazing bonuses, both of those swords, and then extra 20% bonuses to... To, uh, to attack and defense, if I remember correctly. And each of the swords by itself also gives you percentage bonuses to everything and also flattered bonuses to everything. It's incredible. Theoretically, you can also equip those swords to other hero, but Jemia is one of the best heroes in the game. Seriously, she is. Fast learner plus a really good selection of skills plus the duo with ability, which combined with the swords that she gets is just insane. She's an amazing general. There are few other generals that would compare to her, Obviously, Neck of Fate's heroes are also usually pretty good generals, and, you know, in general, <laughs> in general, lol, in general, there are other heroes that can be compared to her, but she is easily in the top. Easily. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and go for the economy population, that's, I believe, also what those other guys wanted for me, but that's night influence, quite a lot. I might ignore the cost reduction of researchers and just steal tech in the future, for the next few turns, in fact. But let's first check if how quickly I will enter this city. Pretty quickly now, won't I? And nothing else is being produced in here, and the enemy has access to... Ooh, advanced car coming up. That's scary, they will go really fast in terms of science now. Oh well. Let's see, how many... Five tennis! Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to break the video for a little while. Anyway, I didn't quite remember what I was saying, but I do want to obviously lower the info the fortification of the city, but the problem is, as I just noticed, it's gonna take five turns for this here to actually get to level four. So I can perform it instantly and lower the enemy's fortification to 85, but it's still 85. I'm not sure how quickly I'll be able to get rid of this 85. And all this time, mind you, I'll be at war with Wild Walkers who will retaliate. So I'm thinking it might be best to actually wait for a little while. How lucky is the enemy to disable me? 11%, I'm not gonna risk it. I think I'll wait for 5 turns, so what I'm gonna do is pill it for now. Nice and easy. You know, might as well. And as I'm pillaging, I, in fact, I'm just gonna move to this town right away and pill it from over here. So that I, I see a little bit more and I'm closer to this town that I also want to pillage in the future. You know, to get my economy going a little bit, get some strategic resources and stuff. And in five turns, I'll capture the enemy capital. I don't like this delay, but I'm not gonna risk it on a chance of being captured. I mean, disabled. That would be not ideal. So, because I do want to keep my hero, obviously. So let's also include my economy population. Nice and easy. There's that done, bam, 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 bam. And you think, you think, well, let's move this army out. And I do want to protect my empire from any wandering vaulters, but I haven't seen them in a while. So I'll just move somewhere near the border. Maybe, actually, I'll look for the other enemy city. That sounds like a fairly decent plan, I would say. I do want to see where the enemy, other enemy city is, if it's worthwhile. Uh, you know, if it's a good idea to try and capture it and stuff. In the meantime, in the capital, I'll keep making mists and other things. I'll make a devil first, in fact. Now I'll make a mist first. Devils are nice, but mists are still more worthwhile. And then followed up with two predators. Let's just kill that for now and be satisfied with it. Also, and not to lose population, thank you. Yeah, that's better. Also, I'm gonna move you like this for now, just so that population grows in the right place. Every other area should be more or less okay. You work a little bit harder on that cellar, thank you very much. Now I'm not gaining any deaths, but I'm not losing any either. And through pillaging, I should be able to gain some as well. So the sodas will be good. Let me drink a bit more again. <coughs> thank you. Alright, I cannot react with glass silk, so... Grass silk, I mean, so the boys will be quite unhappy. Well, that's what happens when you're with a bad girl, I'm sorry. You may want to switch her up, but Moonleaf 
it's only useful for the happiness for me right now, since obviously I cannot make any use out of science, so I just activate it ASAP and get my happiness back to where it's supposed to be, that being content, nice and easy. And also let's grow my borrow streets now, to make sure that my approval is actually good. And holy balls, I'm now earning a lot of... never mind. <laughs> I'm not earning a lot of dust anymore, but I can fix that relatively decently. Let's keep you guys over here like this. And I'm liking where you are as well. As for this city, my capital, yep, no problem either. So let's continue the movement of all my units. Make sure I don't run into any other mages who are... Oh, they are gonna settle there, aren't they? Now, I could stop them or I could abandon my plan, but this world is just too good to pass. I can't stop them though. The garden is in the way. I can't stop them. The, I, I, if the garden wasn't there, I would try to stop them, even if I were risking a war against them in the future. But I, I can't. There's just no way. I cannot go past this guy, and no matter how much I would like to. So, but girl, uh, it's a shame because the seller is now completely worthless. But I, it is worthless. So I won't continue making him rough for now. It is possible that those sellers will be killed by something else, which I dearly hope would be the case, which makes me an evil person, I suppose, but what else can I do? Man, that's annoying. And of course, now the winter is over as well, alright, and I got myself some titanium and dust, which is pretty nice, I'm also gonna gain dust at a pretty fast rate. How long till you get maximum level of infiltration? Let's have a quick look, three turns, yep, alright, just wanted to confirm that, so I should have enough time to pillage another place, which I'll happily do. Even when you're about to capture some region, by the way, it's always worthwhile to pillage it because pillaging it, a structure does gives you more bonuses than leaving it uh, working for any duration you would gain if you were to capture the region instantly. That's only true if you're uh, forgotten, by the way, because you do gain those extra bonuses from destroying villages. And you can also boost that even further if you have this thing, which... Uh, I always wanted to grab, but I very rarely do because there are so many other texts that I really want, so yeah. Also, those Arpujas, I... Hold on a second, are you supposed to be pacified? Uh, reliable ally... Oh, don't put anything in military. Ah, uh, yeah, so you're not pacified. Okay, I'll do it the hard way then. I'll just matter you all. Because I cannot allow those guys to stay there and be like, all cool looking and annoying me and being a threat to my cities. Okay, let's stay far away. Actually, I don't think they have the vision over here. Yeah, they shouldn't see me. Yep, they didn't see me. That's good. All right. So I stayed far away from the city. And this thing doesn't see me still for now. So that's good. Let's end the turn for now. I'm just double checking if there's anything else I need to do. Oh, yeah. Actually, now I'm making things real fast in my capital. And in four turns, I'll go population. So I can start creating a proper line. Oh, boy. I created the wrong line, didn't I? Uh, it's not the worst line ever, actually, since there's a village right there anyway. So, yeah, I'll keep going with what I'm currently constructing. That should be fine. And that's lovely, because in four turns, as I'm done with those boss streets, I'll have enough population to finish the semi-triangle slash line, and then I'll be able to work on making my approval better. So that, that should be good. All right, then. I'm kind of happy. Man, I know I should end this video, guys, but I'm a little bit too pumped for now. So let's drink a little bit more. <coughs> To keep my throat nice and moist. Can you call it that? Moist throat? That sounds wrong somehow. And, oh, hi. I guess they must have found me somehow. And apparently they have a high chance of killing me. And what's that? Snog of all? Ah, yeah. That's annoying. And they did colonize it like I thought they would. Oh, well. I suppose you can't have anything. I mean, everything. Alright, let's like, have a fight over there because... Those guys, they are not threatening at all, and I refuse to acknowledge them as being able to deal any serious amount of damage to me, because I have quite a few mists in here, you know? A really, really sizable amount of mists. Also, I have a devil as well, just to make things even worse for those guys. So, I'll have the devil over there, Predator in the back, obviously, and the mist over here. Let's maximize my morale bonuses. Deploy, and, yeah, just meta everybody. You got over here, and you go, yeah, I can't rely on this uh, bar, can I? But let's go more or less in the right places, shall we? So, if you go over here, then I should have another mist to just go ahead and attack this guy. Devil, make sure that this guy doesn't move. 
And you focus fine on this man, I suppose. Or maybe this one, I don't know. Let's try to kill whatever I can kill as quickly as possible. You also try to kill this guy. As for you, you are another mist. Try to kill him if you can. Or actually, uh, no, I don't trust you to do that. Try to kill him. He should land on the town and be still able to use his faster than uh, Shadows ability quite effectively. So let's see what happens. Mist going through and faster than Shadows. Man, everything. Devils, matter everything again. Just, you know, matter. Matter is fun, isn't it? I like matter. Where on earth are you going? I guess I did it the wrong action with one of my guys, which is a little bit annoying. But a little bit, I mean, really, especially since now there's. Look at this hole. Ah, uh, now Pucha is gonna go in there and it's gonna hurt me a lot, isn't it? Ouch, ouch, I don't wanna see it. Okay, that actually didn't hurt at all. Okay then. You know what? I'll just let my units do their thing. I trust them. I'll take a drink. Alright, you didn't. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is going to be a perfect chain link. And those guys didn't actually die, and those guys attacked the wrong target. So maybe I shouldn't trust my mist as much as I did. But then again, that looked beautiful. Oh, yes, the matter. Matter is awesome. Who doesn't like matter? I guess the matter ones? Yeah, I suppose it would be right. And I'm surprised the Apuchas aren't actually trying to focus fire on the predators instead of going for the devils. Which is fine because devils are. Meant to be able to take that. Go behind them. I like back direction. I'm sorry, what can I say? And you go away, make sure that you don't die. As for everybody else, just kill. Kill and kill and kill again. I actually didn't need to do that because my other mist has better initiative than this guy, but... Oh well, I couldn't be bothered to check, so yeah. Easy fight, didn't lose anybody. The end the got absolutely mad at. I have no idea what the Autobot fought. But it fought wrong. Now, I should attack this village, but I really could not be bothered. I don't want to do this right now. I want to end this video cast, frankly, because it's getting a little bit late. But first things first, let's go ahead and finish this quest. 50 dust for exploring the ruins, and Jemiada is mine. Oh, yes, he is. It's pretty awesome. Now, the next quest is going to ask me to get the double nothing skill for him on level 2. Can do, will do. In a row, I'll get two, uh, 20 paladin, which is again fine. Oh, and by the way, if you want to read this law, then go ahead and pause the video cast. Same deal as the last time. Oh, Shadowbind and Shadowbrand. All right, that's how the swords are named. Yeah, I need to do that because those swords, like I said, are effing BS good. They are really, really good. So double nothing, level two, can do. In the meantime, where will I put Jimiada? Well, obviously, I'll assign her to this alley. So let's have a quick look. That's the wrong tab. Jimiada, where are you? Here you are. Hi, how are you? I will not equip her with anything because as soon as she turns into her beefy self, she's gonna lose everything that I'll give her. Although I am tempted to give her something to make her better, just a little bit better. Or maybe make her army better, so let's see. Uh, those are very expensive things though, aren't they? Hmm. Damage boost is nice though. Yeah, I'll give her damage, uh, an army damage boost, I think. It's not a bad idea. And make, maybe make her a little bit more beefy. How much is that? That's 24 dust. You know what? I'll just give her iron equipment. I'm okay if she loses that. And I'll give her better swords as well. So the enemy has both an infantry unit. So let's give her a one-handed sword. And also a one-handed rage slayer. And that cost me a bit of death, but not a very large amount. So I'll be fine with that. Apply the changes. And let's go ahead and equip her. I mean, assign her to this army. Nice and easy. Bam. Don't worry, ladies, soon you'll forget about your traumatic experiences by providing other people with traumatic experiences. That's the best way to cure trauma, right? By giving other people trauma. Man, I could be a psychologist. I'll be good at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of like Hannibal Lecter, right? Anyway, anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Every city is actually making a district right now, which feels wrong. I should be making more of an army. And you know what? This video cast is long enough. I'll wait for the matter for the next one. And also it's good to end a video cast on such a note where you don't know what's gonna happen. You impatiently wait for the next one, yes. So if you want to see Mad and Slaughter, wait for the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Pancha, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you online.